Good morning, Quad Captor 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Haywood Macabre. Haywood was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quad Captor 101 here, and I have something really neat for you today, folks. This is the Maker Fire Armor Blue Bee FPV Starter Kit. What is this thing? <laughs> it is a drone, of course, as you can see here, but this drone is particularly made for beginner pilots who want to enter the world of FPV flying. And this does it very well. I'm surprised, actually, how well this works. I didn't think it would work with this little tiny monitor screen, but it does work well. Let's talk about it. Again, this has everything you need to enter the world of FPV flying. you got the drone, you got the transmitter, you got a uh, monitor to view what the uh, drone is viewing through its camera. But let's talk about the drone in particular. It's a little 65 millimeter drone in the shape of an old tiny whoop. If you remember, the tiny whoops came out about, oh, about seven, eight years ago. They were ducted fan drones, tiny ducted fan drones that you could put a little camera on top of and enter the world of FPV flying inside your house. And that's what this does too, okay? You can fly this inside your house, but also I've been flying it outside, folks. It does have the only need to fly outdoors. We'll try that also. But uh, let's talk about it again. A closer inspection of this thing is it weighs only 36 grams. And that's with the battery installed. What does that mean? That means that this drone does not require registration in most countries. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, looking closely at, around the propellers, you see the propellers each is circled with a um, ducted fan. Okay, each one of these is a ducted fan. What is ducted fan propellers? That improves the efficiency of the propellers, folks. That's the intended intention of these um, um, propeller guards around this, but it also provides guarding of the propellers. I just mentioned you call them propeller guards. Uh, so you can bump into objects pretty much without any problems at all and keep on flying in most cases. Um, there are cases where you will crash if you hit it too hard, but you know, gentle bumps, yeah, there's no problem keeping this in the air. Um, the motors on this are 716 brushed motors okay what does that mean that means these motors will fail eventually folks with time okay but by that you're probably going to be ready to move on to bigger and better fpv flyers after this one but uh, it should last a while okay um this is a tiny drone there's not going to be a lot of power power requirements for these motors so these motors shouldn't burn out too easily but uh, keep in mind, if you do crash, there is a way to emergency stop the, the motors so that you don't burn out the motors. You don't want, you know, if this gets stuck in a bush or something and it blocks the motors from spinning and you're trying to give it power, that could burn out a motor. So keep that in mind. We'll talk about emergency stop later. Okay, um, it has a camera, as you, I mentioned. This is an all-in-one FPV camera. What does that mean? It's 25 milliwatts, has 40 channel capability. You can switch between 40 channels. It's tiltable up or down, and you want to be able to tilt it up a bit because when you're flying forward, you do tilt forward. So to keep your camera lens level while you're flying forward, most people tilt this up about uh, 15, 20 degrees to keep a level horizon in your view. Now it is powered by a 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp hour battery. That's supposed to give it approximately uh, four to five minutes of flight time. That battery includes a little pH 2.0 connector. These are uh, uh, quite common, folks, so you should be able to find replacement batteries for this. Uh, but it does come with a spare battery in case you, you don't. You know. So this does come with two batteries uh, stock with this particular model. Okay, um, the flight controller on, and I mentioned, I think I touched upon it already, but this flight controller is a basic flight controller. Let's see if I can get the battery out first. And we'll take a closer look at it. So hold on, folks, while I slide this battery out. It seems to be one of stuck in there, but there we go. Okay, the flight controller board on this, if you notice, there's no USB port on it. And what does that mean? That means you cannot modify this particular flight control board uh, for, um, you know, through Betaflight or any other flight control software programs. Um, this is strictly a 6G beginner's uh, flight control board, meaning it's stabilized flight only, folks. <laughs> okay, so stabilized flight means you can't uh, inadvertently fly upside down on this drone. Um, if you exceed in a certain angle, there's angle restrictions, they call it. Uh, that the gyros on this will not let you go any further. And the idea is to prevent you from crashing, you know, flipping over and crashing, losing control. Um, that's why that has a stabilized flight control board on it. But with that in mind, you 
cannot adjust the PIDs on this. Um, you can't fly acro with this if you were intending to learn acro. You're not going to do it with this particular model. This is strictly an introduction to FPV flying, and it does it well. We'll talk about it, and we'll demonstrate it, and you'll see what I mean. But again, no pit adjustments, only stabilized flight, altitude hold flight too also. Um, there's no, it has altitude hold. You can't turn it off, so you're going to be flying with altitude hold with this too. But that does make it even more easier for beginners to fly, so keep that in mind. Okay, let's talk about the uh, FPV. Okay, I mentioned the 40-channel camera. It's 25 milliwatts. It's supposed to give you out to about 100 uh, meters range, but the, the uh, receiver on this is this little 3-inch LCD screen that comes on this, okay? It attaches to your controller like so. It has a built-in battery on this LCD. Here, let's just remove it so we can take a look at it. But it has a built-in battery on this LCD screen. It's 3.7 volt, 800 milliamp per hour battery. It does include auto search capability through this button here, I believe. Yeah, this is the auto search button right there. Uh, on and off button is right here. You press that and that turns it on so you can see that. Coming in, the old digital or old analog type screen. Um, this button also turns on the menu. So if you want to adjust the contrast and the brightness, you can do such by pressing this button here. Let's turn it off again by pressing that again and holding it down. And that turns off the screen. This button here and this button here, this is for changing the different bands. And this is for, ch or actually the different channels. And this is for changing the different bands. And speaking of those bands, I, I mentioned it has 40 channels capability. And those bands, I did write them down somewhere. I think it's A, B, E, F, and race band that comes with this particular model here. Yeah, A, B, E, F, and race band. So, so it, total 40 channels with this particular control, or particular receiver. And again, I mentioned it's very sharp, very good looking screen on this. And it's bright enough to be even used outdoors, okay? Um, when I, I remember when I first entered FPV flying about eight years ago with monitor screens like this, bigger ones though, uh, you couldn't see them outdoors, okay? The screens, you took them out in sunlight and they were just black. This one does work well outside, outside so don't worry about it there. Okay, let's talk about the controller. Um, it's powered by two AA batteries that I got in the back there. These are super heavy duties from the local Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, and the controller itself, let's talk about it. It's on-off switches right here. This button here is auto takeoff and auto landing. This button here is for trim of uh, the rudder, trim of the pitch, trim of the roll, on-off switch. This button here is for rates. You've got beginner, intermediate, and expert, three rates. And this button here, it does have flip capability by pressing this button here. And then you tell it which direction to flip, and it will flip. So that's cool, too. So what do you get in the package? Let's talk about it. You get the box that comes with it, nice little box. You get the instruction manual for the drone, well written. You get the instruction manual for the monitor, also well written. You get the drone. You get two batteries that come with the drone. One of them will be installed and one of them will be in the box. You get the battery charger for those particular batteries right there. Uh, you get the monitor. You get the controller. You get the antenna for the monitor. And you get these two little cables. What are these cables for? These are output. Uh, this does have output cable capability, AV output capability. If you want to record this or view it on a different monitor screen or on your goggles, you can do so by plugging this into there. And it has output for both uh, either this pin or this um, plug output, but it also has wire output too if you want to um, solder this <laughs> to, some, to an output. You can do such, you know, your, make your own output cable for this particular battery. Also on this monitor, I forgot to mention, um, to charge it, it's done through this micro USB port right there. You plug it into a uh, USB wall charger or pl even plug it into your laptop computer. Sh your laptop computer should be powerful enough to, uh, through its USB port, to recharge this and also recharge those batteries. And uh, what else, else do you get? You get a full spare set of propellers, which you may need. You never know. So that's what comes with the Maker Fire Armor Blue B FPV starter kit. Let's take her for a flight, folks, and see how it flies. We'll do a, a demonstration flight, then we'll do some uh, FPV flights following that. So, hope you enjoy these flights. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the indoor test flight of the Blue Bee. My dog wants to come down here and play. She's hearing me. But uh, we're going to play without her. Um, I was planning to fly this upstairs, but my dog, she sees this thing and she wants to eat it. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> she's going to keep on yelling at me to come down here to play. But no, no, she's got to stay up there. Okay, uh, notice I got a DVR attached to this. Okay, I find my old uh, FXT DVR. So we are going to be able to see the FPV video from this particular drone while we're flying. So that's cool. So let's go over here to set it up. I'm going to launch from over here since we're going to be flying FPV. So let's plug in the battery like so. Yeah, my dog's just going to keep have to keep on barking. Unfortunately, I don't want her eating this. <laughs> Boy, she tried to get it already. <laughs> Almost did, too. <laughs> so, okay, we got that attached. Next thing is to turn on the uh, controller and bind it to the drone, and it is bound. And then we turn on the DVR by pressing and holding the on-off switch here. And we have signal. Okay. Now, I want to start recording, and to do such, I need to turn this on, make sure this is all the way plugged in, and then pressing start recording, and it should be blinking, and my DVR is recording. So we are good to go here. So starting the motors by down and out, and giving throttle, and let's see how much trim we got applied on this. I got to put some right trim on it, I'm seeing right now. Some right trim and some forward trim. So right, right trim and a little forward trim. And a little left trim, left trim. And right trim and we are more or less trimmed. Okay, let's go out and about. Let's take it up a little higher. Let's see if I can fly this thing FPV down in my basement here. I got a little course here planned for it. <laughs> I see that light over there. I'm hoping I can get through that light. And we're going, oh, I made it. Oh, wow. Okay. Again, I'm flying this thing FPV using the screen here, folks. Let's move it up higher so you can see that screen. It actually, this actually works um, surprisingly well. <laughs> okay. I didn't think it would work, but I can see with this, gut, with this screen and fly this FPV easily. A lot easier than I thought. Okay. Going up a bit higher. I got to make that loop. Oop, oh, oh, I made it. Okay, where are you at? Okay, I bounced off of something over there, but that's the uh, protection afforded by those rings. Okay, I'm going to come around one more time, and then we're going to try some uh, standard flying with this. Okay, let's come over toward me here. I see myself off in the distance there. Flying toward me. And now let's try some other things what this drone can do. Namely, we haven't tried flips. So let's go over here, over by where my peppers were. And it's just tomatoes now. <laughs> so there it is. Trying flip button. Ooh, it flips. Went up higher. Try backward flip. Okay, let's go to higher rates. Let's see how this thing maneuvers. It maneuvers very well. It better maneuver. It's an F, you know, FPV flyer. I'm going to take this outdoors, folks. This looks like this can be fun outdoors. It really does. Oh, I just noticed on the back of that. Let's bring it in close so you can see that. It shows what channel you're on. Oh, no, it's just two lights, two little red lights. So it's the channels are based on lights, light signals on there. Okay, bringing, coming over here and saying, since we're recording, coming toward me, saying, I like my shirt today, folks. Getting closer. It's Bob Ross shirt today. <laughs> so... Okay, going to third rate. I want to see how maneuverable this thing is. It is maneuverable, very maneuverable. So yeah, this can fly outdoors easily. I can I can tell that right now. Okay, are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. So let's go around the stanchion one more time. Flying, coming down lower. And flying over my little city there for my... Um, indoor fpv racers fpv cars these are fun folks i don't know if you've seen my videos on these fpv cars but they're a lot of fun i got more of them coming <laughs> we're gonna try them but uh this drone is flying nicely but i'm noticing the lights are flashing now so i got a feeling we can't flip anymore yeah that's true so the battery's starting to get low already um so keep in mind when this is flying this is using power for both flying and it's also using 25 milliwatts of power to power that camera. So um, that is going to reduce flight time a little bit. 
but I'm looking at the screen here, nice clear screen. You're going to be able to see the reflect or see what I'm recording here. Coming over to the drone, getting close to the drone. Let's push it around. Yeah, again, this thing, this thing is easily flown indoors. It should be a nice flyer for indoor FPV. But uh, okay, yeah, that's the flight time you get out of this. So again, um, as with the old. Uh, Tiny Whoops. You didn't get a lot of flight time with the old Tiny Whoops, and this one's no exception. It's about four or five minutes per charge of this battery. So, Okay, that's the indoor flight test. Let's take it outdoors and see how it flies outdoors. I'm excited to try it outdoors, folks. So, hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and welcome to the outdoor flight of the uh, little, what is this called? Maker Fire. <laughs> Maker Fire Bluebell. <laughs> but, okay, plugging the battery in. And my dog wants to come out now and play out here now. And also, I'm going to raise up this camera because we're going to go fast out here. So I'm, I tilted the camera up, upward uh, so we can go fast. And putting it on a flat level surface, turning on the controller, and also starting the camera, the FPV camera, and starting recording also. So we can see what we're recording. Let me make sure it is recording. No, it's not. It's recording now. Recording now. Okay, sitting down for FPV flight. And making sure we're still recording. And starting the motors, down and out. And automatic takeoff this time. Okay, we got a little bit of a drift backwards. Forward drift and right drift. Okay, so we're good. Going to high rate. Highest rate. And fly an FPV with this thing. It works. <laughs> coming back, coming back toward me. And it's Memorial Day weekend, by the way, folks. That's the reason for all these flags. Coming around. Flying toward me. Flying past me. <laughs> this is working well. <laughs> Having fun with it. Let's see if I can do a running flip with it. Coming toward me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is a neat little beginner for beginners to learn to fly FPV. Very appropriate. And it works actually well. Let me see if I can try something. Coming up here on my porch, flying over my head. Whoa. No, uh, uh, uh. no that didn't work. <laughs> and going back out by it again. So, yeah, I'm at highest rate. So, let me go up a bit higher and show the neighborhood. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Coming around. Coming back. A little bit too far there. It was getting fuzzy. But that's one of the advantages of FPV, uh, analog FPV, is that when the signal gets weak like this, you can still see it, though. There's always some scratchiness. All right, there's, you know, an analog. There we go. I was looking for it. <laughs> but there it is. Okay, that's enough FPV. I'm going to bring it down here so we can see it up close. <laughs> Got a little bit of a breeze hitting it. I was fighting it, trying to bring it back here and hit the breeze. But the breeze is calmed down now. It's a nice little beginner's learn to fly FPV, I gotta admit. And it works well. It seems to be working well. Let's see if I got enough power to go around the lamppost here. Maybe not. <laughs> Going up my neighbor's driveway. And coming back. Flying FPV. Oh, there's the dark there's the sun. <laughs> Black sun. <laughs> so cool. Really cool little drone. And let's see, how's our power? Bringing it in. It had a blue blinking light the last time that warned you that your power is getting low. I don't see any blinking light on this thing yet. So maybe the power's still good. Going back out fine again. <laughs> Just gonna stay in near nearby now for the remainder of the flight in my yard. Because I don't want to go lose battery power. 
But yeah, that the flags here, it's Memorial Day, folks, <laughs> here in the U.S. <laughs> so everybody's got their flags out today. Memorial Day weekend, actually. I like this little thing. It works well. Very appropriate for beginners to learn FPV flying. And you don't have to use goggles, okay? You know, some countries don't let you use goggles, actually. You got to keep your eye on the thing. I'm trying to keep my camera on it, too, at the same time. Um, but we'll see. Oh, there's a birdie. Let's see. I chase the birdie. Okay, and that's it, folks. No more flight time. So that's the flight time you get with it. And um, final thoughts on it? Yeah. Yeah, this is more than appropriate for beginner pilots to learn to fly FPV with. I kind of like it. So hope you do too. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.